The positions started from 134A to or 1234F. They started using, to make up that 10% deficiency, they started using this internal heat exchanger, right? Mm -hmm. And it improves the efficiency of the typical air conditioning system by about 10%. Right? And so if you look here, you know, you'll probably recognize here, this is where it bolts onto the firewall. <coughs> this is my suction line coming back from the TXV valve, back to the compressor. And here's the liquid line coming up from the condenser to the TXV valve. And the way this works, do you see how the two lines are molded together here and here? Uh, it's just a double wall pipe. It's pipe within a pipe. And so you've got the inner pipe here, and then the outer pipe here. And these are just little spacers to keep the two pipes, to keep the inner pipe centered in the outer pipe. And so the liquid, you know, there's, the liquid comes in here, and it comes up. See that the, the space is here. The liquid comes up the outside of the tube, right? And the cold, the suction refrigerant returning from the evaporator goes down the center section of the tube. So if I measure the temperature of the typical liquid refrigerant coming out of the condenser, it's usually maybe 120, 130 degrees, right on a hot summer day. If I put my hand on the suction line coming out of the firewall, what temperature would you expect it to be? Cold. Cold, 40, 50 degrees probably on a typical D. So what we're doing here, we're using, so the refrigerant coming out of the evaporator is done. It's spent. It's been used up, evaporating in the evaporator, but it is still cold. So I'm using the cold suction refrigerant going down the center here, and by pumping the hot liquid refrigerant around the outside of that cold pipe, I use the cold returning refrigerant in the suction line to extract a few more degrees of temperature out of the liquid refrigerant before it gets to the, gets up to the, to the evaporator, up to the TXE valve. So it improves the efficiency, it recovers, you know, reduces the temperature of the liquid refrigerant by 